We sat in on part of a seminar at the Graduate School of Business at Columbia University. After all, it's older than the stock exchange. And we thought professors familiar with the language of the street might treat the market with detachment. Dean Courtney Brown and Professor Benjamin Graham were instructing future brokers and customers men. The explanation cannot be found in any mathematics, but it has to be found in investor psychology. You can have an extraordinary difference in the price level merely because not only speculators, but investors themselves are looking at the situation through rose-colored glasses rather than dark, dark blue glasses. It may well be true that the underlying psychology of the American people has not changed so much, and that what the American people have been waiting for for many years has been an excuse for going back to the speculative attitudes which used to characterize them from time to time. If history counts for anything, that uh, the stock market is much more likely than not to advance to a point where of real danger. This question concerns the so-called Wall Street professional. Are Wall Street professionals usually more accurate in their near or long-term market trends, forecasts of stock market trends? If not, why not? Well, we've been following that uh, interesting question for a generation or more and I must say frankly that our studies indicate that you have your choice between tossing coins and taking the consensus of expert opinion <laughs> and the results are just about the same in each case. Your question as to why uh, they are not more dependable is a very good one and an interesting one and my own explanation for that is this that everybody in Wall Street is so smart that their brilliance offsets each other. <laughs> and that whatever they know is already reflected in the level of stock prices pretty much, and consequently what happens in the future represents what they don't know.